guys welcome to another video and i am trying this is a mermaid kiss that had dried and i varnished it and it's absolutely gorgeous and i'm trying to replicate or create something similar except that here i used Mm, ultramarine blue you can see it here um, and instead I'm gonna use today two different magentas oh I love this piece so this goes to my beautiful friend Felicia she loved it so much so I'm gonna gift it to her beautiful mermaid kiss and um let's go so i did paint it the background i'm reusing the canvas and i painted split it in two halves normally i wouldn't paint paint but this time yes boom i'm working on the sun so i gotta move fast i'm in sunny florida okay for base i'm gonna use uh, white it's not titanium white it's regular white and um, here I have thyla green I have um, aqua and white mixed together and as for my colors the same like in mermaid's kiss um, this is a thyla green fantastic beautiful color this is aqua aqua with a little bit of thyla green okay i have two different magentas quinacridone this is quinacridone magenta and this is magenta light magenta and i have a, a gold by golden okay less is more Yesterday I was working and I used so many colors and it became a mess. So I'm like really have to be <laughs> very careful not to use too many colors. Just stay, stay, stay put. Because <laughs> you get excited and then you make a mess. Okay, let's do that. Let's do white first. I think it's... Thank you. 
So this is a dry result and I don't know what you see guys. At first I was seeing just the failed Dutch pour. The petals are imperfect and you know I was looking at with the mind of a, a, of a tutor how it's supposed to look like. A perfect Dutch pour. And then I was talking to my fr friend Stuart Clement yesterday and holy wow we start looking and he's like look at this this is a masterpiece don't you see profile of a lady in a fancy dress and then <laughs> I'm like holy wow 
And the discovery goes further and further. And let me help you out, guys. I'm sure maybe now, since I pointed out, you already see it, seeing it. So here we go. We have a um, profile of a lady. This is her neckline, the back. This is the sleeve of her fancy dress. It looks so beautiful with the gold and magenta. And then you go further. She's like kind of a brainstorming. So then we see a child. She's thinking of a child. Above her head, you can see a face of a child. Okay, you can tell it's a child because, you know, it's a curly nose, puffy lips. So then we're looking further. What else do we see? So here is a child's profile. And here we go. We see an angel or a man. You see the nose, the chin, the color, the eyes. Hat, and he's looking at you. Look at this. This is the weirdest thing. Everywhere I go, his eyes are following me. Wow. <laughs> and then, what I discovered later, later, here is she's brainstorming, and you can see who is looking at you. Another eye, <laughs> and even like another screaming face. Oh my God, she has one of a crazy mind, this beauty, <laughs> almost like me. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, this is, this is freaking uh, amazing. This is, um, how do they call it, optical illusion art, where you like discover how many characters you can see so so far we found ladies profile we found a kid's face an angel another creature here with a profile and an eye staring at you angel and so i wanted like at first let me just maybe do the line here finish her back to suggest a profile but then I'm like, look, let the viewer see what he and she will see. Yeah, and it looks beautiful with this mermaid keys. This is a dry result of a mermaid keys. And it's like the mermaid is blowing the keys to, you know, to create currents and the waves in the ocean. It's just so, oh. <laughs> Or you can see the hair of the mermaid. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy my latest. These are my favorite, favorite, absolutely favorite works. I do like this um, also fish tails. Beautiful dry result. I didn't varnish yet. I can do probably, um, I'm planning to do a resin coat because this is a, this is a gallery wrapped uh, canvas. So it will hold the top coat of resin. These guys, they're thin canvases, so I'm just going to varnish them. So this is already varnished. You can see the gloss. So once I varnish this, this is going to be a beauty. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm very happy with the result. I'm not gonna touch this painting, it's absolutely gorgeous. And bye for now, thank you so much. Give me a like, subscribe, leave comments. Maybe you can see something else here. Um, yeah, thank you so much for your support and have a beautiful day. See you soon, bye.